Hi, this is Chieftain, and I'm here with Zombie Killer and Moabiti, and you're watching the tri -Buy Awards on the Lagging Out Podcast. Boom! We have a really quick intro this year. Nice little yeah. gold intro. We upgraded. We're going with an upgrade with season six. <laughs> Speaking of upgrades, Zombie Killer, what's up? What's up, Chief? Mobiti? What's up? Look at the. And Mobiti's back. back. I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm still as shaggy as ever. <laughs> it's a shagging bragging. He's a shaggy son of a bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> He, he does a show once a year, and it is the Tribar Awards, which is our version of the Gaming Awards. And we're doing a lot of upgrades this year. We got nice sports jackets. We got cool backgrounds. We got nice hair. Mo not Moby. Moby always has nice hair. But Zombie Killer's totally one-upping her game this year with the awesome makeup and the great hair. Although she always looks great. She's actually kicking it up a notch. Boom! Hitting it up a notch. And this year, Chieftain, you're kind of wrong. It's all about the beard this year. So It's all about the beard? It's all about that beard. <laughs> it's all about the Scruffalicious. The Scruffalicious beard. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people that are new to the channel, we've actually doubled our subscribers in the last month or so. People want to know, what is the Tri-Bar Awards? They're eventually our, game, our version of the Gaming Awards. We have six categories. We'll do three in part one and three in part two. What do you guys think? Should we get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Zombie, why don't you just kick us off? Where am I kicking us off to? We're reading a script. So just read right, right from the script, Zombie. <laughs> and these are the <laughs> nominees that you actually guys voted for. So yeah. um, don't bitch to us about it. You guys created the nominees and picked the winners. So yeah, yep. every year when we pick them, you guys are like, why isn't this on? Or why isn't this on? Or, well, this time I gave you guys a choice. So be quiet. Yeah, if you don't yeah. like it. Go ahead. All right, so an independent game has no big funders, small talented teams that wear many hats, and work long hours. Their work and games are often overshadowed by bigger productions until today. The nominees for Best Independent Game are... Best Independent Game. Cuphead. Nidhogg 2. Night in the Woods. These games are really good. Very cool. Fine. I am a Tacoma. Ooh, forward. Tiny. Pretty. While aboard Tacoma Station, please remember that all activity. Uh, Those are all very good looking games. Yes. <laughs> The best thing about that is uh, all those games, they look like they're tailored to children with, with the exception of a couple on there. And you know what? That's good for the, the adults too. And the winner is Cuphead. People have such mixed emotions about it. They're like, I hate this game. I love this game. I love to hate this game. Mo Beattie, if you want to touch on this a little bit, the game looks like it would frustrate the hell out of me. Uh, so, so, so super frustrating. Many many hours on <laughs> on one boss. I think four and a half hours on a single boss is a little little. I'm granted I'm not great at video games. Ugh, so much stuff to say. It's, it's just a, it's just a marvel, and what, the art style is what well, goes back to what what was it like this the 60s style cartoons? I forget which. Yeah, style 50s it is. and 60s. Yeah. I went I went into it blind. Like everyone kept talking about it. I looked at no videos about it or anything. I was like platformer. I love platformers. And then I started playing it. I'm yeah. like it's the dark souls of platformers. Right, and, exactly. And they do stuff very... There's this little niches there. And like, a lot of people don't know is that they, they purposely, when they did the coloring of all the characters, they purposely did stuff different colors. Like, the guy's hat, the main character, is like three different colors throughout this, the game because back in the days of animation, they would sometimes that one color wouldn't pop in an episode so they'd purposely change it and that's what they did. They completely went back to roots with, with everything in that game. It's pretty ridiculous. That's really cool. Yeah. Congratulations to Cuphead and the developers for that. Yay. Um, yes. Yay. <laughs> never clap on never clap on a show, they say. Let's move on to our second award. Gonna be announced so. by Moabiti. Yes, I'm coming up. Great script writing, guys. 
<laughs> Each of the preceding developers of studios accomplished something great in 2017. Their work inspired us to look at the artistic majesty of making games and on what video games can be. The nominees for Best Game Developer are... Best Developer. Arcane Studios. Pray. You've seen what those creatures can right. do. Oh, prop on the game. Once testing started. David O'Reilly. Everything. They're starting up. And so the feature. Machine Games. Wolfenstein 2. Executed us. Netherrealm Studios. Injustice 2. Nintendo Entertainment Planning and Development. Super Mario Odyssey. So Don't make fun of my accent. I beat this game at work. PUBG Corporation. PUBG. What a great name for a studio, by the way. Just name it after their number one game. It's kind of like naming your podcast after your company. I know, right? <laughs> Yep. So it's a good list of games. Do you guys want to know who the winner is? Yeah. Yes, please, well, tell us. Without further ado, it was NetherRealm Studios with their Marvel Injustice 2. I good love game. that, with their Marvel Injustice 2 when it's DC-based. <laughs> I know. I, there. Did, love I that. did it. I did it on <laughs> purpose. Some people will be like, wait, what? <laughs> no, but seriously, this game, uh, I own it on Xbox, PlayStation, because I bought it on Xbox, so I was like, I hate the controller for fighting games on Xbox, so I bought it on PlayStation, I was like, this mm -hmm. is perfect, now I just need it for computer. Uh, <laughs> a lot of these games on here I bought for every platform. Why? Because I'm a true gamer and I support companies, <laughs> and, and a little bit of an idiot, <laughs> that too. Oh. Zombie, what'd you think? Good stuff. I... <laughs> wow. We're happy to check out. Injustice 2, but yeah. With us. <laughs> I don't know. You know, you, it's yeah. the same company that did Mortal Kombat. I know. Like well, Mortal I love Kombat. Mortal Kombat too. I like my fighting games. Yeah, it it was really good. And I just I don't play this. I didn't play the first Injustice, which is something you shouldn't say. But I love the storylines for Injustice and Injustice Two. I would just watch the storyline. It's just amazing to me. I just like it's, actually, it's just. I got like cutting you off. I do that a lot. Oh. No, you're good. Go ahead. It's actually. I think it has one of the larger scripts in video games. Like I try, I try looking up something on each one of our winners, and and the fact that you know the storyline of Injustice One was multiple. It was the two parallel worlds going into each yeah, other. Multiverse, one where, yeah, multiverse. One where Superman became like the overlord of everything, and one where Superman didn't, and it was all due to the Joker's like little mishap. Not really mishap. The Joker planned to do it, because um, you know it's the Joker, and. Right. Uh, and Injustice 2 just took that to the next... I didn't think they could beat it. They took it to the next level. That story is fantastic. It's on it's par with story. the first one. It's just... I, I just can't say. I, it'll take another 20 minutes for me to fully explain what I was about to say. <laughs> so I think we'd rather want to move along. So with that being said... Moving on, which is our favorite award. So um, to give out our Try Hard Award, we're going to the one and only Zombie Killer. So, the Try Hard Award is given to the game that we all had such high hopes for success. But by either a fault manufactured by themselves or the gaming community, they fell way short. This is an award you do not want to win. The nominees for the Try Hard Award are... Try Hard Award. Call of Duty World War II. <laughs> They tried their hardest. Player Unknown's them Battlegrounds. Mm -hmm. They get nominated. They, they, they get nominated every year. They do. Star Wars <laughs> Battlefront 2. People didn't like this game. <laughs> oh, that's scary. No, that's that's not true gameplay. You wouldn't run towards Darth Maul. You'd run like mad. Sorry. <laughs> right. I, I would totally wet the bed if he came at me. It's the same. You wet the bed anyway. What's, what's the point? Hey, you're not I said that in that. confidence. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to find out who the winner for this bad boy is? It's going to be so surprising. And the winner is Star Wars Battlefront 2. 
Oh my god! What a shocker. What? <laughs> Hashtag spoil alert. Is anyone really surprised over this? <laughs> uh, no. Um, it's, it's just one of those games where it, it looks great, it feels great to play, and it just had a... EA ruined it. It's like, EA is a, the, the magic company that ruins everything in gaming. Um, Nickel and Diving is not something a game, video game company should be doing to you. They should be putting out a product that just makes it it's fun to play and you feel like you get your money's worth out of it. But you gotta keep on putting in your nickels, keep on putting in your dimes just to get stuff to be legitimately good at the game. It's just the community's not gonna like it. And it's, it's really spoken with this, this uh, Try Hard Award. It's, Battlefront 2 just really dropped the ball. And I'm excited to see because they said they're gonna revamp the way their system works. I'm excited to see what 2018 has to offer for it, but until then, it just didn't live up the standards. No. This is the end of part one of the Lagging Out Tri Bar Awards. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. On the list below, check out our brand new online store and our Patreon accounts, and thank you to our new patrons. Patrons. And behalf of Zombie Killer, waiting for her to say something, but she never does. Hey. <laughs> Later, bitches. And <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and Moa Beatty, that's a me. This yeah. is Chieftain, signing off and lagging out.